professor is suing that university for suspending him in September. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson breaks down that filed complaint. You may remember months ago pictures surfaced on social media showing Professor Christopher Healy attending the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Furman University placed him on paid leave, but he says the school breached its contract. On September 30th, Furman University's President Elizabeth Davis posted a message online stating that a faculty member participated in that rally. She says it was alleged to be associated with other organizations that are connected with white supremacist groups that promote racism, exclusion, and hatred. After pictures surfaced online, we learned Professor Christopher Healy was there. The president stated Healy would not teach or be on campus as they, quote, process these difficult circumstances and determine next steps. Healy filed a complaint in court saying the school breached its contract when they suspended him and banned him from campus. He says he didn't do anything to warrant the suspension. His attorney released a statement to 7 News saying in part, Professor Healy has engaged in no conduct that impairs his ability to perform his professional duties as a member of the Furman University faculty. All of the actions Furman University has taken against Dr. Healy were in retaliation for political opinions Furman believes he holds or his exercise of political rights and privileges guaranteed to him by the Constitution and the laws of the United States and South Carolina. The lawsuit quotes Professor Healy has been given no opportunity to defend himself or be heard on the case in any fashion and has not been told what conduct he is alleged to have engaged in that would justify any discipline being imposed upon him by the Furman University administration. Now Healy is asking to return to his teaching duties on campus and asking the school to pay damages for breach of contract and violating what he says is due process procedures of the faculty handbook. Now I reached out to Furman University today asking for a statement following this found complaint. I was told they stand by President Davis statement on September 30th and have nothing new to share at this time. Statement on behalf of Healy states he hadn't heard from Furman about the investigation other than it is expected to continue into next year. That statement also claims the university's notified Dr. Healy his class for next semester has been reassigned to another instructor.